I want to step back a little bit now and kind of do a little bit of uh, reflection a little bit about my 15 years of experience here in the county, 15 years which have been absolutely fabulous. Working with the Economic Development Board has been a, a, a marvelous experience in terms of the engagement that these policymakers in the county here have with the economy. And also, uh, it's given us a chance to actually even hone our own skills. As we have done the cluster analysis and other kinds of economic analysis, we've taken the experience from Sonoma County and applied it uh, to uh, consulting work that we've done elsewhere in the country. Uh, but this, this was amongst uh, the first areas that we worked very, very closely with, and it's really paid off. I hope it's paid off for the county. It's certainly paid off for us. And we uh, have really come to respect uh, uh, Ben, his team at the EDB, and all of the policymakers and business people that I've uh, come in, in touch with. I mentioned when I look back at the first report that we did 15 years ago that there was a real, real sense of, of um, confidence in the economy here, that the industries were strong, that the, uh, that the county was growing, and really all we had to do was kind of uh, you know, uh, feed more resources to the driving clusters and industries here in the county and, and the, the industry would grow and, and the economy uh, would, would grow. Well, uh, it hasn't turned out quite that way, as, as uh, I illustrated. You know, we had a really tough decade here in the county. But it's interesting that I think it illustrates also how the shape of the economy has changed and how the driving factors of the economy has changed. One of the, the initial recommendations that we made back in 1996 uh, in consultation with the EDB was that the, the economy really had to be more engaged in the global economy, that the, this economy couldn't grow and couldn't outpace other parts of California or other parts of the U.S. and be a leader unless it was truly engaged in global commerce and, and global industry. Uh, that happened, but I think the, th the thing that we didn't foresee was how that would add a certain element of volatility to the economy, that the more the economy is open, the more the economy is exposed to the global market, of course, the more the economy is exposed to the risks that the global economy uh, 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 holds uh, as well. And so, what that means to me is that uh, if, there, if there are any policy initiatives at all that need to be uh, really pushed and, addre ad and, and uh, addressed, it is helping business people uh, and helping individuals to really be agile in terms of understanding, and, and understanding the risks out there and then changing the way they do business and allowing them to make the changes that they have to do in doing business to stay up with the changes in the, the global economy. It's not very easy to do that anymore. Um, it, it's also interesting when I, when I look back at some of the other comments about you know, the, the strengths and weaknesses of the economy uh, back in 1996. Uh, some things uh, have been addressed uh, back then. The number one thing that the, the, at the rising to the, the, the top of the list, anyway, or near the top of the list of recommendations or problems, was that accessibility to the county was just really tough, and that Highway 101 had to be improved. Well, 15 years later, I drove up and went 20 miles an hour, <laughs> pretty much through Marin and Sonoma County. But at least I could see the improvement, and I could see the highway's construction sign saying this project will be completed in 2012. And so I do look forward to the day when I can drive at 55 or 60 miles an hour all the way from the bridge up to Sonoma County. And you know, so in a sense, that's done. 15 years ago, it was recommended. The problem was was seen, solved. I think. <laughs> um, other things, uh, uh, high business costs. It's very interesting. Uh, back then, uh, our assessment was that business costs were well above the U.S. average, and that was seen as an impediment to uh, uh, doing business here. Now, actually, uh, business costs are a bit below average based on our own assessment of business costs when we factor certain things in, like unit labor costs and electric power costs and the cost of renting office space and the cost of uh, state and local taxes. Uh, uh, Sonoma County is more competitive now in terms of being a, a place that is no more, using those measures anyway, no more expensive a place to do business than anywhere else in the country. That's quite a, quite a change. Housing affordability has improved. As I mentioned, that was seen as a problem before. The other really very important factor that uh, was highlighted in 1996 and, and I think is even more important today is workforce quality, educational attainment, and the ability to keep uh, a, a, a workforce trained and retrained, again, to be competitive in this shifting uh, global economy.
and the resources at Sonoma State were identified, the resources at Santa Rosa Junior College were identified. From what I hear, there have been many, many changes, uh, and uh, we could, there are many more changes that could take place to make programs that are appropriate for the workforce development needs. And also, we have worked with the EDB and the Innovation Council in trying to understand the needs for uh, K through 12 education, improving the graduation rate, pulling in the minority uh, community into the economic system in a better uh, way, the immigrant community and the like, and um, uh, uh, making sure that the local workforce here is up to the task to compete uh, uh, globally. Um, so four, four basic things, that, uh, uh, if I can summarize sort of my experience here uh, uh, over the last 15 years. One was that uh, while I think we did a pretty good job 15 years ago of identifying the driving clusters of the economy, there is an, a need to constantly uh, reinvent the economy. And I see that actually in the way the clusters are being identified now, that working with the, uh, uh, the Innovation Council, uh, the, the clusters have been changed to reflect the shift in, 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 in the economy over the last 15 years. There, there is a realization that, that the economy is changing as the global economy changes. Second, that, that uh, policymakers really do have to make shifts to accommodate this kind of change, to allow businesses to change quickly, to, to, to create that, uh, the flexibility and the agility that businesses have to, to do very quickly to turn on a dime to meet uh, global market forces. The third and fourth are both going back to, uh, I'll use workforce quality, but at a, uh, in a sort of a broad range. One of the, the interesting factors about the economy here is that the, there's a very high share, relatively high share of the workers in this, this economy that work uh, as sole proprietors or, or at uh, unincorporated companies, uh, in indication of the very entrepreneurial nature of the Sonoma County economy. Entrepreneurs do need help. They need help in, in getting information. They need help in gaining credit. Uh, they need help in hiring, uh, and all of these are roles that policymakers can play in helping those entrepreneurs to make these changes and adjustments as the global economy changes. And then, the, 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 as I said, worker quality, the workforce quality is so important in terms of creating a K-12 through experience that is very meaningful and, and creating uh, programs at the junior college and at the state college that address the needs of the, the, the changing uh, shape of the economy uh, here today. It's really been a, a, it's been a great 15 years I, to, to watch this economy grow and change and to be a part of it and to see this enthusiasm return. I haven't seen this level of enthusiasm in Sonoma really in the last 10 years. Uh, and it's understandable when you look at the data and how weak things have been, but I truly think that things have turned around and the next few years are definitely going to be uh, better. Uh, so Ben, uh, we are at a point now for a Q&A, uh, and I'm not quite sure how we're doing this. So, um, so I can just take you, uh, questions from the audience, and we've got about 10 minutes or so, something like that. Um, so uh, I'm very willing to take any questions here, or if there are questions that came through the iPads, uh, we can uh, address those as well. Let me just look at questions from the audience. Any questions from the audience? We'll begin with that. Questions from the audience for Steve? Yes. Thanks, Carol. The question really is, I made some comments about uh, K-12 to and higher education, but didn't really make uh, any uh, comments about uh, 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 
preschool, I guess, zero to five age uh, education. Uh, I'm not an education expert, so I, I have to uh, yeah, lead off with that at least. Where I, th my impression from what I read about uh, education policy is that the preschool education, zero, the zero to five, seems to be most uh, necessary and most effective in areas that do have high levels of uh, immigration or high levels of uh, minority communities that are excluded from a number of, of uh, other services for, for one reason or another. Uh, in a way of allowing children of the various groups to, in a sense, catch up so that when they're in first grade, uh, they, they are all within a certain expected range of, of, of capabilities. Now, many, many children from various backgrounds can catch up anyway. Uh, and, and of course, so much depends on individuals and family and so forth. Uh, but I think it has been shown that where there is the greatest need for that uh, 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 preschool education is, is where you do have uh, 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 communities that are either, again, immigrant communities or, or uh, low-income communities. Given the fact that the immigrant community here is growing uh, and that I know we have had many conversations with the, uh, uh, the, the folks involved in education through the Innovation Council and so forth, uh, it seems to me there, there is a real need here uh, to make sure that all uh, components of the community here start uh, at K through 12 education, again, within a reasonable range of capability uh, so that you don't lose people early on in the education process. So, so my, my, my non-educational expertise tells me that uh, that is, a, for Sonoma County, would be an important aspect of uh, long-term uh, economic development, if I can speak at, as an economist. Any other questions? Question way in the back here. Uh, yes, sir. Keeping the politics out of it. <laughs> what? <is laughs> uh, um, boy. <laughs> uh, um. Okay, put the politics in it. Uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> that might make it easier. <laughs> I can tell you that that I I, I support some kind of. Uh, universal health care program, that I think there has to be access to health care for everyone in the, in the country. Uh, I think it's been done well elsewhere. It's been done poorly elsewhere. There are many lessons to, to learn. Uh, it has become an albatross in terms of costs in many uh, 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 countries. I think the, the Canadians seem to have managed it fairly well. Uh, uh, anyway. Um, this is the conservative in the, in the group here, perhaps, not <laughs> um, Also, I think that uh, one thing we have seen in the slow pace of recovery, that there has been uh, an unwillingness. Here, I have, to, I have to turn this back to my economic view, right? But um, there's been a, a slow willingness of people to actually leave jobs and seek other jobs. And one of the great advantages of the U.S. economy is its labor force generally is extremely mobile. Mobile in terms of a willingness to change jobs and mobile in terms of a willingness to actually pick up and move and go somewhere, which is one of the benefits of Sonoma County now as we see population growing again. But there's been an unwillingness over the last couple of years because there, is, uh, there are fewer and fewer firms that are providing health care uh, insurance, and people are hanging on to those jobs that they have just to maintain the health care benefits. That's not a good reason to stay in a job. If you're in a job that, that it's not a good fit, that you're not being taken good advantage of, that you're not being productive, and you're staying on that job, job only because you have health care benefits, that's not good for you as an individual in terms of growing your human capital. It's not for good for, for the economy as well in terms of, of uh, being the productive, as productive of a worker as you can be. So I support it. Uh, the implementation of health care is um, uh, uh, uncertain at best right now. I'd be a lot happier if the direction was clearer uh, and I knew where we were going. I think this is one of the, the factors that create some un uncertainty in the economic recovery right now, simply because employers don't quite know what the rules of the road are going to be for uh, health care going forward. Does that answer your question without too much politics? Great. 
There was another hand up over here. Yes, sir. Uh, 